Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Dong and Rob. But in the last episode, we are start. We started the trial and figured out that not only was Hero guilty of hitting Sakura on the head, but Toka was who? Well, genocide, Jack. But close enough. <sighs> so apparently, there was poison mixing with all the nutritional additives. Yeah. So why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. What do you mean? What I mean, this. I couldn't believe my eyes. Bioki put the bo bottle of poison to his lips and... Huh? Master! We were so shocked at what we were seeing, though all we could do was stand there. But as if we were in the most natural thing in the world, Bioki was calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? I see. That bottle... Can I see the bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Byaki and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched it with her, the finger to her tongue. This is... it's protein powder. Huh? Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder. The poison should have been in that bottle? Where did it go? The bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder. Which would mean that conversely, the poison must have been... Could it be? <sighs> Pink Moon's Gambit. With this again. What is it? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's clean. Protein. Rat. Protein. Uh. I don't even know. Protein. Drink, drink, drink. Okay. <laughs> like drink, drink. Freaking hell. <laughs> okay. I was like protein trap. Uh, protein. What? What is the lot? Oh, drink. Okay. Helian is a dumbass. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. The protein is in the poison bottle. It only seems logical to assume the verse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene. Protein drink. <laughs> Monokuma bottle! <laughs> You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink that actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura, the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Oka saying that protein was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try to help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what if it was offered to her instead of it was was instead a full bottle of poison? I already know the exact exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real, who was it? Evidence revealing who can replace two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. The evidence shows who switched it. It has to be. It's been found on the shelf. Um. What we found in front of the shelf was the yellow powder. Yes. <laughs> the footprints left in front of the shelf. The evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints at that point. They must have appeared at the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they are connected. Hmm. What's more, a footprint were in front of the section of A where the bottle was meant for the poison. Oh, excuse me. The the culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and the protein, leaving the footprints behind. Oh. Now I've got pickups. Fuck. And to, given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now, and then we'll see who. It was me. It was me. Huh? Hina! 
Oh my gosh, Hina. The footprints, they're mine. Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather hear it straight from me, you know? Then Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it! I killed Sakura! Just as I suspected. This, this feels too... Something doesn't feel right. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The footprints were made by the pair of sneakers. There are no mis There's no mistaking it. And the only people who were wearing sneakers are... Sneakers. The only people wearing sneakers are... Me and Hina. Me and Hina are the only ones. So, Biaki, that explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No. Okay, well, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't match Makoto, then le that's left with only one possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get the vote, weren't you? The whole time you've been focusing on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? <sighs> I, I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely the reason why it turned out this way. Because they were close, Sakura didn't think twice about Hina's handing her the concoction. Hina used that to trust to kill her. Really? This, this feels weird to me. I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. But she deceived the victim and tried to deceive all of us. Uh, I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. <sighs> Hina... Is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her there in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when when I went to get the powder in the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder and that's when you gave her the poison mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And then... And then... Hold it. I'm not convinced. Yeah, I'm not convinced either, to be honest. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. That What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. And just like that girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> How many times do you plan to repeat yourself until it sinks into your fucking head, Biakia? <sighs> Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there is still one unsolved mystery I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How'd you create that locked room? <sighs> well, <sighs> Because I'm guilty. That means I have to you tell you every. Does that mean I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixture. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would you leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes you look like you're one somewhat people to suspect you. Th that was... I was just nervous! I, I didn't notice that I left a footprint! You didn't notice? Yeah, it was just how it was. What can I do? <sighs> Listen, Hina. Can you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. How come? It doesn't matter! Hina, please. I'd like to know, too. <sighs> Fine! Waste your time, if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. I'd, I'm not convinced either, to be honest. She wouldn't have done that. There was no way in hell she would do that. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well... All right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And that's when you spilled the powder in front of the shelf? Yeah, when I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay, go on. Then I moved to section A, and I got the protein powder, and that's when I switched them. Oh, once I was done with that, I 
took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. And because of that, I everything I did got found out. And that's it. Ugh. The story you just told. First you went to section C to get the poison, and then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to A. Do I have that correct? Yeah. If that's true... Isn't that a little strange? Yeah, seriously. Can you repeat the series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. As long and how long until you're satisfied? How long? Until we figure it out. Until I've covered the full truth of this case. Yes. Okay. What are my what are my choices? What are my choices? Prince of the powder, Camelot shelf. Source of the powder. Yeah, source it's gotta be the source of the powder. First I went to section C. I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah, when I went to grab the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, then. Then I moved from section C to A. And that's when I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the powder, uh, the protein powder back in section A. And then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? The chem lab, or the footprints, and which direction were they facing? These clear facts could contradict what he had. Yeah. Okay. I went to section C, grabbed the poison. Oh, frick. That was wrong. <laughs> it was a good thing I didn't do that anyways. I grabbed the and I dropped it. Okay, and then I went from section C to section Oh, come on. Ugh, I'm not lying, I swear. Okay, there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. Okay. First, I went to section C. Grab the poison. <laughs> Eventually. Maybe it's the footprints in the powder? Yeah, it has to be. If that's the case, it's gotta be the footprints in the powder. Yeah, okay. Oh, dipshit, Kelly. You are a dipshit. <sighs> okay. Continue. You said you get the poison from section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah, what about it? And after that, you move to section C from section to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to A. It contradicts what you just said. That <laughs> maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous! I didn't notice I left a footprint! <gasps> What the? You know, what is the meaning of this? Uh, well... You lied to us, plain and simple. <laughs> yeah. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. You went to get protein, and that's it. The powder's already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. You never went to section C. What you did there only involves section A. <laughs> well, you see... <sighs> what, then? What the hell is going on here? And footprints are the only problem with our account. What? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible! There can't be! Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? Oh dear, Byakuya is getting nervous! It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed at you of all people missed such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Ugh. Just say it already. What? What is it? What is it you think you found? I found this. A piece of glass. It had to be sunk in the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed thanks to your interest of the powder. I couldn't have solved this mystery without you. So thank you for that. But, but what is this? Oh, you don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Ugh. Fine. You, if you really do know, explain the meaning of the shards of glass. Shards of glass, the blue glass, Kyoko found in the bottle of poison. I think I remember now, something broke. It's the rec room window. Oh my gosh. It's 
part of the window from the rec room door, right? Window. Oh my gosh. Window we broke with, to get almost blade blue, just like that. I think that must be it. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How to shard a blast from the window get inside a bottle of poison? Yeah, what's so strange about that? What's strange is according to what Hina just told us, the bottle of poison should have been when it's broken. According to what Hina told us, it should have been in section A. The bottle of poison was left on the on the shelf of Chem Lab. That's what you said, right, Hina? Um. And yet, somehow, a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. But then everything Hina just told us was a what? Are, are you that dense? In reality, the bottle of poison was definitely found on its way to the rec room. It was at least there until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked, there's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in the bottle. And then, once the room was open, the bottle somehow got moved to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the scene of the crime was planted there. And it had to have been the locked room was open. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait! Did Hina do all that after? Like, well, what the frick is going on?! Wait, hold on. You're moving to- Yeah, I, I can't believe I'm agreeing with Byakuya, but I'm like, I'm lost now. What is going on? I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? Because it was on top of the glass. We already know that she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right, we do need- Did Sakura do it to herself? Did she kill herself? Oh my gosh, that's gotta be it. There's no other way. But before we do that, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. Where Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move or trip over anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just make sure the best of your ability. Well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. <laughs> Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay, that settles it. This proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. Oh, come on. How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? Yucky is getting nervous. This is a nice scene. The reason she can say this is because of the evidence. Who said the protein can was bring to the room after- Oh, yeah. It was on top of the glass. <laughs> An empty protein drink. Yep. <laughs> An empty protein drink. Oop. Yep. Oh, it was first. When it comes to the protein can, there's no doubt in my mind. The room was locked. But the until it was locked. There was absolutely was not in there. So you're saying... Someone planted in there after we got the door open? No, no, no. That's impossible. It had you been there the whole time? <laughs> the rec room was unlocked. Nope. But freaking what? Frick! The lock room is unlocked. In other words, when I broke the window, I concentrate on that. Okay, well no. Wait, what are my other choices? The locked room is locked. Oop. Oh, come on! Okay, I got it. I gotta do a flashback here. It's gotta be either... It's gotta be that, or... It's impossible. It's gotta be this. Could've been there the whole time. Them, boom. Boom. Oh, frick. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, come on, guys. Work it. Put it together. Okay. Has to be this. What's that? What did I do wrong the first time? Kellyanne, look over that and tell me what I did wrong the first time, because I know that was right. <laughs> you remember how there was a broken glass scattered around the room, right? Uh, of course. I can't- you- it came from the window. You broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We're also underneath the can. <laughs> <laughs> that face, though. That face, though. What? Oh, frick. So it 
had to be in the room. Ugh. I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it, if that were the case, it would have explained the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone to eliminate the possibility right out of the gate. And that made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as we have a locked room, it can only and it can only it, and it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was open, they were switched, and as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison. Oh, okay, I get it now. Oh, okay. Oh, Hina, did you do this? If that's all true. Then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank from the original bottle knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room, and all she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it- It was a suicide! Yeah, I knew it was a suicide. That's such a ridiculous fiction is- Exactly what happened. Ugh. Tell us already. Uh, sorry. Please tell us. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. Was it Hina? It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room? It had to have been Sakura. There was no way it could have been anybody else. Because she, has, she, had, she had poison on her shoes. I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? Huh? So Sakura was apparently murdered to poison herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact that she went to the chem lab right to the section full of poisons. You, you're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not lying. Sakura definitely went to section C. Where I know the evidence I need. Just have to hit Hino with it to make her accept it. Okay. Am I doing another- Yep, I'm doing another bullet time battle! Okay. Do this. Okay, what was it? Yellow powder. Yes. <laughs> okay, apparently, am I? Yeah, I'm on Kai. So I, so I don't have to worry about that. Hina, did you, you, did you know that Sakura ha had foot had certain yellow powder stuck to it? Uh, it did. It did. The same powder that had been spilled on the shelf by the chem lab. Oh, dude, the powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it have been but powder from the chem lab? Uh, wait, 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 wait. So what was the powder that I was doing on Ogre's foot? It was only her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. The person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. <laughs> and when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she actually was standing. Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still scattered around and some must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? My explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all that, the section is con- uh, it's conception- Excuse me! Never mind. No, no, it was me! I- The poison! Because- Because- Because I killed her! No, you didn't kill her. The one who killed Sakura. Connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery lock room. There's only one way to explain it. The only person who could have done it was Sakura. She was the only one. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <laughs> what? The killer was Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? I, I don't believe it! I don't believe any more than I can believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. Well, when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in, her room and drank, in the room and drank it. And so she could end her own life. And that explains what couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... 
Sakura wanted to create the locker room. <laughs> Monokuma forced her into the locker room. I just saw that on my thing. The locker room mystery was created by Sakura. So I'm, so I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody can stop her from doing what she did. She's out there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled, in the ra rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. And at that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? <laughs> you did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found your body, you stayed right near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything, and Kyoko was busy checking the body. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Fuck. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. I, I have to go get them! I have to go get the others! others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to get everyone else. But my real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch off the containers, wasn't it? Oh, my freaking hand and arm hurt. Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight for the section where the protein powder was kept. And there you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you grabbed at the rec room. When you left the lab, you had all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about that, the footprints made perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together, and once you were back at the rec room... I got everyone! Ogre! Oh, oh, she's oh, dead, she's huh? <laughs> Sakura's not killed. I see. While everyone was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. <sighs> Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been. I should have. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know would never have the side. Would left her side in a situation like that. <sighs> so Sakura committed suicide in order to hide the fact that Hina undertook a series of actions to, to undermine the investigation. As long as you can disguise the truth, you can't be. You, can't, you don't didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? Footprints in the powder, the bottle of poison, the vital pieces of evidence, and yet you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura. Uh, no, 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 no! I killed her. I did. That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not. Nothing is over. It is. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. Closing argument. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, guys, we're gonna try it. Wish me luck! And this case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. One of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got there ahead of everyone and left for a good hiding spot. Ugh, okay, yeah, whatever. Ugh. These pictures are so freaking weird. Okay, I was right the first time. Blah. Try that again. One of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got ahead one step earlier and looked around for a good hiding spot. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. The next to arrive was Hiro. Candy. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was gonna try to kill him, so he panicked. Okay. <laughs> Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Dun dun. <laughs> thinking he killed her, he instantly began covering up his crime. <coughs> Excuse me. He took the magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. And that he wrote down a name. Toko. But Toko, by writing her name, he hoped to pin the murder on her. And he skedaddled. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing, so as, as soon as the coast was clear, she 
jumped out of the closet and hid in the mag- she hid the mag- scene on the shelf with all the others. But she put it up upside down. <laughs> but in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. As soon as she saw Sakura open her eyes, she also saw the blood dripping from Sakura's head and fainted. And became genocide- that caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. She woke back up and her first, second personality also saw the blood soak Sakura. She freaked out. And hit her a second time. Poor Soccer, I feel so bad, man. And just like Hero, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains where the two wounds on Sakura's head. I'm assuming Sakura was dead at the time, she was about to dispose of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma shard, bottle shards and the Queen chess piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same kind of weapon. But even those two blows, she was still alive. So then, so what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura got from the chem lab. She turned into the rec room into a lock, true locked room scenario and then drank the devil mixture. And there she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered her body was in there. We had to smash the door to the window, door's window to get inside. But someone had already known what happened when she had com that she had committed suicide. And the same person quietly snatched a bottle of poison from off the gut from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with the empty protein can. And they did this all specifically to place suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the only one who would do went to all that effort. Oh, Hina, girly, girly girl. It was you, Hina. That's the full truth of the case. <laughs> Sarka took her own life. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact, isn't it right? <laughs> That's what happened? But Koto, how did you... How did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Huh? Oh, well, I mean... You still haven't realized. We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's why, if you don't understand, that's why you can't solve the case. <laughs> See, didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it always comes back to bite you in the end. Ugh. And that's how Byakuya died. <laughs> he died of shock. I got a B for the first time. I'm gonna get a B. Oh, bees. Bees. Oh, nope. A! 95 minutes. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? Ugh, I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever, you don't have a choice anyways. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to do it, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. So who will be chosen as the black end? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Disappointed Monokuma is sad Monokuma. No, <laughs> oh, Sakura! Why did you do it, girly? Sad face. Alright, but anyways, we're gonna cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more new videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys alright. Bye.